Hello everyone. In this lecture, let's learn how to use IBM Watson system. Watson is a new mobile-friendly artificial intelligence system developed by IBM. In the future, when I mention artificial intelligence, sometimes I will use a short term, AI, to represent this concept. AI has become a very important service to mobile users. On uh, every major mobile operating system, there is an AI service. For iPhone and iPad users, Apple offers the Siri system. For Android users, Google offers the voice search service. For Fire tablet users, Amazon offers the Alexa AI system. These AI systems are very easy to use and they are useful to the users. But uh, all of them face an issue. They are only for personal usage, not for business professional usage or data analytics usage. You can probably ask Siri or Alexa what the traffic is, what the weather will be, but they cannot help you to analyze data sets, especially for big data sets. So IBM start thinking about a very important question. Can I develop a, a system, a mobile friendly system, so that the business professionals can analyze data, get useful knowledge from an AI system? Watson is the service that address this need. In this lecture, we will learn how to use the Watson system. IBM offers a 30-day free trial. Before you move to the next part of this video, please activate your IBM Watson free trial account to get to know how to use this system. I listed the Watson activation link in this video's description section below. I also created a user manual to guide you to activate the Watson free trial account. I'm going to use a data set for the training in this video. It's called the HR training. This data set shows how much has been invested in training employees at different positions from different departments in different divisions in different years at a multinational company. Please download the data set onto your computer. I listed the download link in this video's description section below as well. Please download this data set onto your computer before you are using the Watson system. This is the interface you can see once you log in the Watson system. The first thing you will notice is the three important folders. There are data folder, discovery folder, and the display folder. The major purpose of a data folder is to save all the data you retrieved from the internet or you uploaded from your computer to the Watson system. The discovery folder is to save all the analysis results you get from the data set. And then the third one is the display folder. You can uh, put your analysis uh, results into charts, graphs, and then share with your colleagues by using the display function. You will learn all of these functions in this uh, video. Let's go to the first one, data. Let's start from the data folder. If you want to upload the data set to the Watson system, just click uh, the new data button. Next, you want to upload the, the data set from the computer, from your computer. Click uh, the local file button, local file, and then click uh, browse. As I said, we need to download the data set onto your computer before we use the Watson system, right? I have downloaded it onto my desktop. So let's select this data file and then click uh, open. Next, click uh, import. You will see a lovely blue planet icon is rotating. That means your data set is being uploaded to the Watson system. Once the upload is done, 
you will find uh, the data file name and the type of this data file. The name is WAHR training and the type is CSV. The current name is not very meaningful. If I want to rename this source file name, I want to click uh, the three dots. And then you will find the rename function. If you want to delete it, you can also scroll down and then click uh, the delete button. Let's rename the file name. Let's call this HR Cost Cost. Click uh, the rename button and then change, give a new name to this file. And then click uh, rename. Now you can see the new data file name. If you are curious about the data structure, what are inside of this data file, you can uh, click the Refine button. It's still under the three dots. Let's click the three dots over here. And then choose Refine. Now Watson will show you the columns of uh, this data table. Uh, and uh, the data records inside of this data table. This table shows the uh, course cost data. So at the end of this table, you will find the course cost column. It shows how much each course costs the company. At the beginning, we have a uh, department, position, organization, year columns. These columns shows each course is offered to employees from which department at uh, which position, in which duration of this company, in which year, and so on. You can also click uh, the next button to see more columns if you have more columns than the screen can show you. Let's go back to the beginning of this table. The Watson system has all functions from uh, Microsoft Excel, which means what we can do in Excel can be done in a similar way in IBM Watson. Each column title has the filter function. Let's use year as an example. Let's say I'm only interested in data of 2014. Then I'm able to click the year title. And then I can choose which year I want to retrieve data from. Let's choose 2014. The process could be a little slow because we are running the analysis in the cloud. So just uh, wait a minute if you cannot find the answer right away. But after that, you will see 2014 is selected right in the title row. Let's click uh, the title row. You will find uh, all data sets are from 2014. If you want to remove the filter, just uh, click uh, the title row again and then choose clear. And then you will find uh, the original data set is restored. Click uh, the year title again. We can also do the same for other columns. Let's say I'm only interested in the course cost data for the marketing department. Then I can choose department. And then I can choose marketing. Select this one. And then click uh, the department title. You will find the, the data are showing for marketing department. Let's click uh, the department title. Let's remove this filter. You don't have to use the filter function here. I just want to showcase this feature to everyone. Let's click uh, the IBM Watch Analytics in the top left corner to return to the home page. Let's see the AI feature of uh, Watson. If I want to find some knowledge from the data set, as I said, Watson is an AI system, which means it can do some analysis automatically. If you want to find the AI result, you can click just click the data set. And then you will be directed to the new di discovery page. Over here, you can see Watson has already done some analysis about our data set. If these are the answers you are interested, you can click on each title and then see the analysis in details done by Watson. Let's say I'm interested in comparing the course days by years and departments. I can click on this title, the third one. 
and then Watson will automatically show the analysis it has done for me. From this one, you can see the pink trend is the highest, which means if you look at the legend, the pink one is, corresponds to sales department. That means sales department has been given a lot of courses over the years. If these are not uh, the question you want to ask, simply go back to the home page. And then you can click uh, the data set again. As I showed you, these are the analysis done by Watson automatically. If you have a particular question you want to ask, you can simply type the question in, ask a question about your data box. Let's say I want to compare the course cost by organization. How much, I want to know how much has been invested in different divisions in my company. Then I want to type in what is the cost of courses by organizations and then press enter or return key on your keyboard and then Watson will answer my question automatically this is pretty amazing we don't have to build any analytical model Watson will find the answer based on the natural language we speak you can click on any answer you are interested let me use the second one as an example. What are the values of course cost for each organization? Let's click on the second one. Another nice key feature of Watson is it can visualize the data analysis results right away. In this bubble chart, instead of reading a lot of numbers, you can see in which division I invested the most in the course cost. You can also move the mouse over each bubble to see how much in detail has been invested in different organizations. If you think a bubble chart is not very straightforward, you can change the type of uh, charts. You can click uh, the visualization button in the left side. Click uh, visualization and then you can choose the chart you get used to. If you like a bar chart, click a bar chart. And then the analysis result will be presented in a nice bar chart. If you want to return to the original one, you can click the bubble chart, the bubble chart over here. Let me use the bar chart as an example. Let's click the visualization button to close the function. Let's see the main chart. This is the course cost invested in different organizations. You can keep adding new features into this chart. Let's say I want to see how much has been invested in different organizations in different year. I want to add another criteria, year. How can I do that? I want to click the multiplier, this button, multiplier. And then I can choose the criteria I want to add into the chart. Let's choose year. Let's check year. And then click uh, down. Now you can see we have a, a more insight about the data set. Besides how much has been invested in different organizations, as you can see in each chart bar chart, we use different color to represent different organizations. Besides this finding, we can also separate the course cost by years. This is very nice. You can keep adding more criteria by adding more multipliers. If I want to save the analysis result, next time once I log in the Watson system, I want to see this analysis again, I can click uh, the disk icon, the save icon. Let's click on it. And then uh, Watson will ask you, what is the name for this analysis? Let's call this my analysis. Because we are using a trial version, so we can only use the personal, the prefixed folder. If you have the official version, you can save the analysis 
in the location you prefer. Once this is done, click Save. Now you can see the analysis is given a new name, My Analysis. Let's go back to the home page by clicking the IBM Watson Analytics icon here. We just talk about the data folder, right? As I said, the discovery folder is to save our analysis results. We just created an analysis. It's called the My Analysis. So if I want to retrieve the analysis, I want to click uh, the Discovery folder. Click on this one. As you can see, My Analysis is already here. If I want to see the detail, just uh, click uh, My Analysis. Then Watson will present the results for you. This is the analysis we just did. To business professionals, data communication is very important. You cannot just perform the analysis for yourself. Sometimes you need to share the knowledge, share your finding, the charts, graph with your colleagues, right? IBM has considered this need. It provides a mobile-friendly data sharing function. This is the next key feature I want to showcase. It's called the display. Let's go back to the home page. Let's click uh, IBM Watson Analytics. Let's say I want to share this analysis chart with a human resource manager who's traveling. How can I do that? Let's go back to the home page. And then let's click uh, the display button. Display. And then let's click uh, new display. Let's give it a name. Let's call this HR Course Cost by Organization. And then you can choose a type of display you want to use. You can make it as a dashboard, a infograph, and so on. Let's just choose dashboard as an example. Let's click Create. Next, you want to choose a layout for your display. Let's use the single panel layout, the second one. Click on the second one. This is the layout design interface. Next, you want to click on the personal folder because this is where we saved the analysis results, right? Under personal folder, you can find the my analysis, right? Let's click on the little triangle next to it. Now you can see the bar chart we just did. Let's hold and drag this bar chart to the design interface. Let's hold it and then drag it to the design interface. Now you can see the bar chart. It has the analysis result, right? This will be the result or the report the human resource manager would see. You can resize this bar chart or move it around to the middle or the corner of this display panel. After you are satisfied with your design, you can click uh, the share button on the top. It's between a glass and a, a disk icon. It's called a share. Let's click uh, the share button. Actually, you can share the analysis results by emails or Twitter or some web link. Because this is a trial version, we can only share the result by email or Twitter. If you are using an uh, official version, your analysis result will be given a unique web address, so you can post it over the web address. But for the trial version, we can only share the result by email or Twitter. Let's use email. Let's click uh, the email button. And then you can type in the person you want to send this report to. Let's use my email as an example. And then you can type in a title for this email. It could be a little slow because it's running in the cloud. If you want to type in some message, just leave the message in the message box. But notice that there is an attachment in this email. This attachment 
will be the analysis result you just uh, created in Watson. After that, click uh, Send button. Then the Human Resource Manager will receive an email. You can send this email to yourself as an example to see how your analysis will be shared by emails. It's pretty fun. Please have a try. This is an overview of a Watson system.